don't know why. They never give you enough string. What I did was I hunted through my straps, and this used to go on luggage. So I've taken the little hook thingy, beep, beep, and a key ring, and I put it on here. So now all I have to do is hook it instead of trying to tie that thing or all I have to do is unhook it to release it. But I think you need two hands for that. No, you don't. And then it will unroll. And I made sure to put the key ring on the outside just in case that other thing decides to rust. Just in case that decides to rust. So if you have roll-up doors on your greenhouses and tunnels, this sure makes it a lot easier to secure that roll-up door. It only takes seconds instead of trying to fumble with your stiff little fingers. One thing I do when I go to roll up the door, I literally fold it in half and then roll it to the inside. And this way, if it should rain, it doesn't fill up with water. Plus spend half as much time rolling it up because you folded it in half. Well I got this bright idea to put a PVC pipe so I can hang things from my hothouse oven. It got up to 106 in here yesterday and that was with the door open and it only was in the low 70s otherwise. So I think I'll be cooking stuff in here again. I did get smart and go, well, there's no way I can put a long pole inside of here and run it through the shelves. So, cut it in half. Join it down there. It fits in quite well. Here we go. Two seconds later, I've got a hanging rod. I know I can't hang anything really heavy on it. All I have to do is just tap everything in really well. And I got a nice sturdy. That's going to hold a lot. And I have enough little ceramic tiles I can put them under the foot, the base, so it doesn't sink into the soft dirt. Yes, this is all used PVC. Candy, the lady that gave me the greenhouse, hothouse oven. She bought herself two polytunnels, two different ones, and she's in Texas. And last night came a freak storm, blew the things over. She had all sorts of seeds started. Oh, don't know what it was, but it, it blew, even blew shingles off of her roof. So I have put up a whirly gig to see where the wind is coming from. There shouldn't be much, if any, over here. As I speak, it's starting to blow. It's just a cool breeze. But I can see that from inside the house. I can see if it's blowing really hard. But one of the key things is, is make sure your door is always zipped if you're not using it. And for anyone else who does not bend well, I put a string on the zipper pull. And all I have to do is put my foot in it and zip it all the way down. And in theory, it should unzip just as easily. Not in the zipper loop. And I took the string over to where it's supposed to be the tie down. down as far as I can, as far as my body will let me. And then, put stuff on it. And he unzipped it the same way. 